In this video, we're going to create and edit a form body. After completing this step, you'll be able to create a form face, create a form cylinder, and use edit form. In Fusion 360, we want to get started by uploading the supplied design, trigger with mechanics.f3d. To get started, I'm going to go into the bodies folder and hide the trigger that's in this design because we're going to be creating a form body. Now, so far, we've taken a look at creating sketches and creating solid bodies using features like extrude. However, a form body is a different mode of design that allows us to use individual vertices, edges, or faces and push or pull them in 3D. So to get started, let's select Create Form. And this brings us into our form tools. You'll notice that we're still in the design workspace, but the rest of our tool sets have disappeared. Now what we want to do is we want to take a look at some of the creation options we have. Box and sphere are two of the most common types of primitives that you're going to be creating. However, for our example, we're going to be taking a look at a plane and a cylinder. It's also important to note that you can create subdivided models using extrudes, revolves, sweeps, and lofts, and you have the tools to create sketches directly inside of here. To get started, let's use the plane option, and we're going to be selecting the front plane. Now again, there's a lot here, so we want to make sure that we are selecting the front plane, and I'm going to look at the front in a normal two fashion, and then I'm simply going to draw a box, and I can scale this out, I can move it or push and pull it, but once I select OK, it's going to be created and there's going to be no other option for us. So we want to make sure that we get these values right so we don't have to do any modifications later. I'm going to set both of the length and width faces to 1. There's no symmetry and we're creating a new body and we'll say OK. I'm going to select that face and I'm going to use Modify Edit Form. I'm going to take a look at this from the top and I want to move it out so that we're outside of all of the mechanics. Then I'm going to go back to a front view and I'm going to use this option here, which allows me to move it on plane and get it roughly where the Ryobi icon is. So I'm going to just place it over here. And then we'll say, OK. Now we've created our first subdivided body. Now this is a single face so far, and we can move this around using the edit form in the modifiers. So let's just make a couple quick modifications before we create another form. Using some of the standard options in edit form, we have the transform mode set to multi, which allows us to translate, rotate, or scale. We have the selection filter set to all, which allows us to select vertices, edges, or faces. And there are some other options in here that we're not going to take a look at quite yet. But the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to select this vertex at the front and I'm going to move it over into the left. I want to get this roughly in line with the vents that are behind it. And then I'll do the same thing to this point. The bottom is pretty much OK, so I'm happy with its location. So I'm going to say OK now that we've created that first face. The next thing that I want to do is create a cylinder. In order to create the cylinder, I'm going to rotate my model around and I'm going to create it on the top. I'm going to view this from the top. And I'm going to make sure that I'm snapping to the origin. This might be a little bit difficult with all these other components here, so we can hide them as needed. Notice when I try to do this that it's not allowing me to snap to anything. So just get it close, draw a cylinder that's about 50 millimeters, and we want to make sure that we have an even number of face divisions. So in this case, we've got eight on the diameter, which is going to be perfect for us. On the height faces, however, I'm going to set this to one, just a single face, and then we'll say OK. From here, I want to delete half of this. So it might be easier if you're at a right or a top view. You can draw a box, and then we can either go to Modify and Delete, or you can press Delete on the keyboard. We're only going to be modeling half of this, and then we're going to mirror it. From here, we'll go to a right hand view, and we want to select all of the faces, you can do this by holding down the shift key. And then we'll use edit form and we'll move it in place. We're going to rotate it. And we can even scale it down. We wanted to get it to be 
roughly the size of the handle. Once we're happy with its orientation, now we can begin the modifications. One other handy feature that we can use while inside of Edit Form is the ability to extrude. So I'm going to get started by double clicking this bottom edge, which will automatically grab that edge loop. I'm going to hold down Alt on the keyboard, and then I'm going to begin dragging this down. I'm going to bring it down, and then I want to scale it in just a little bit, noting that as we're looking at these manipulators on the screen, this is scaling in both X and Y. This is scaling in just Y and just X. This is moving in just Y and just X. This is moving on plane, and this is rotating. If I want to go back and make any adjustments, I can always select some of the other geometry. I can move it around. I can scale it however I need. But it's important that we keep in mind that we want to work with as few faces as possible to make it as easy as possible to create these designs. Now that we've created that cylinder, that portion of the handle, and we've learned how to extrude it, let's move back to the face and let's begin creating some additional extrudes. I'm going to grab this front edge and again, holding down Alt, I'm going to extrude it forward. Before I deselect that edge, I also want to pull it forward a little bit because there is a recess here and it is pulled out just slightly. So I'm going to do that knowing that we can go back and we can crease this edge if we need to. Now with it still selected, I'm going to hold down Alt again to create another extrude and I'm going to bring it forward up until this over molded section. Now I can do the same thing at the bottom. I can double click to get all three of these edges, hold down Alt, and I can begin my extrude. In this case, I'm going to bring it all the way down to the bottom. And then I want to take this edge here, holding down Alt. I'm going to drag it backwards. I want to rotate it slightly. I want to get it to match that back edge. And with Fusion, if you find that the divisions are a little bit too coarse for you, you can always manually enter them. Or sometimes if you zoom in, it will reduce the actual divisions that you're creating. So in this case, I'm going to go to about three degrees, and then I'm going to left click in the canvas area to deselect. Now I want to take this and simply move it in toward the center line. It's going to be important because that's how we're going to end up creating that handle. For right now, that's okay. We're going to work with the shape a little bit more, but we just want to get the rough idea of the shape before we move on to adding any more divisions. So once again, if it's too coarse, we can move in and get a little bit finer resolution. Now that we've got this, this is a great time for us to select OK on Edit Form and save the design. It's important to note that in order to create surfaces or solid bodies out of this, we'll have to finish the form. But we can make our save while we're still inside of the Edit Form toolset, and it'll automatically come back into here next time we open the design if we do happen to close it. But from here, make sure that you do save so we can move on to creating more of the handle.